Here is how to create an email campaign on MailChimp. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you are all doing great and in this video I will show you exactly that and pretty much everything else that you will need to know uh, once you get started with MailChimp and creating a campaign with it. So I will talk about a few things before even getting started, uh, things that you will need to keep in mind because you will need to be aware of these things uh like the pricing and plans when it comes to actually creating a campaign and stuff uh it, it only it basically just depends on how many contacts you have you can see the minimum is 500 you can do less than 500 obviously but uh this is going to be the pricing for the 500 mark and then as as like as you increase the higher the price is going to be so this is basically what I really wanted to show you guys. Uh, so you keep in mind that uh, it does get increasingly more expensive the more contacts you have, just like most other uh, platforms that have the same thing. So let's actually jump into what to do once you are done with all of the like pricing and stuff. Uh, basically, the first thing you will be, like generally be doing is after you set up your your MailChimp um, is go to audience and you will need to add contacts basically. So uh, here is going to be um, where you will add your subscribers from other platforms or uh, not necessarily from other platforms if you don't have any, uh, if you have a list or something, let me just show you. So if we just go to audience and audience dashboard, we can click on add contacts and then it's just going to give us uh, a few options on how we want to do so. So for example, if you have another service that had the same thing and you have plenty of subscribers, not necessarily plenty, but you have subscribers that you want to import to MailChimp, you can use this option right here and just click on continue uh, and uh, link or click on whichever platform in here that you have um, contacts in and you want to transform it or um, transport it to MailChimp. So um, this is one way of doing it. The other way is going to be by um, a list, if you have any, so a CSV file, uh, which is going to showcase, you know, or have all the contacts within it. And the last one, uh, it's just going to be the, basically just typing things out or copy and pasting it from a list. So for example, this one, it will show you how to actually do it. Uh, you, you can do a name or I'm, I'm sorry, email, and then uh, the name, last name and address if you want. So this is how to do it. So let me just add a random email. So let me just do a random email uh, that is completely random at gmail.com, uh, random email. Uh, let's just ignore the address. I don't really need an address. And I can just click on continue to organize. Um, this is going to be counted as one. If you want to add more, you can just uh, like have on the next line the same thing, email and so on. So we just click on continue tag, uh, status subscribed, obviously. Uh, if you want to add tags, which is a very excellent way to separate your contacts, and you could do this with a bundle of contact. You can do really just one at a time. You can do more. So you can just set a tag if you want and continue to match. Uh, and then finalize import. And just complete import. Uh, and now we have a contact. It's just like that. We have already a contact done. So we can just click on exit. Uh, the thing is, as I said, you will need to set up tags and segments, and it's going to help you a lot with um, dividing people based off of certain tags. Like you want specific people for a specific campaign and uh, like a different type of people for a different type of thing that they are interested in. So this is where tags and segments are going to come in handy. So you can, you know, set things up, create as many tags as you feel like needed and so on. Next up, we will uh, I guess just go ahead and actually start uh, working towards the campaign. What you will need is going to be a uh, landing page. To do so, you just go to campaigns. And this is basically where you will uh, like 
promote for people to actually subscribe to your email campaign so this is uh, very much needed so if you just go to campaign create campaign uh and we should find uh i'm sorry not in here so landing page i did see it hold on so we just click on here we click on landing page there it goes so to create a landing page you come to this page right here and just give the landing page a name uh obviously uh, an appealing name so let me just go to name it tutorial uh and click on begin uh and then you will obviously choose a template from the ones that you have so we just accept this and let's just choose this one for the sake of the tutorial but you can choose whichever one you want depending on your plan by the way you don't really get all templates all the time and here you will need to make sure that you customize this to your branding needs so it's a very simple process it's just a drag and drop uh like when it comes to logo you just click on replace here and then you just add an image by clicking upload and let's say this is the logo that i have which is not really a logo but let's say it is uh you can change the size of it and trust me the editor uh, on mailchimp is very easy it's just a drag and drop and uh, like click on it and edit whatever you want. So uh, with that being said, let me just do this. Welcome everyone. So you just set things up to your liking uh, and keep scrolling down and uh, make sure you have something that has this part. So this should be the main focus is where you want people to enter their um, information if you want to add first name as well and last name that is going to be completely up to you but most people just do an email address and um, maybe a birthday which can also uh, lead to something more so for example if it's their birthday you can actually send an offer to them and it's going to be quite nice so it's an automatic process that you can do with automations so you can add birthdays and emails and a button to subscribe now, styling and stuff is going to be completely something that you will need to uh, like uh, take a look at and, uh, you know, just style the entire thing to your liking and to your branding design. Okay. Uh, and then afterwards, you just go ahead and save and close. Once you are obviously happy with it and you are done uh, creating the landing page. Uh, and basically, you will have this entire section that is going to summarize everything for you and this is going to be the most important part here the url which is going to be the url that you will be promoting on your you know social media and stuff so people can come to your landing page and then subscribe to your emails so with that being said and everything is done here uh for the campaigns you just go to campaigns and um click on all campaigns where you can just create it uh, and then from here we can just uh, create and uh, email uh, we can do a regular we can do uh, basically let's just stick to the regular one and then you will uh, obviously uh, have the uh, the campaign name basically so you can just say uh, tutorial again let me just stick to this it's going to help me a lot so we can just put it like that and then here is going to be a few things that we need to set up so for the two part is going to be the uh, people that we want to send this campaign to so we can just edit uh, like the people that are going to take it and then all subscribers and audience or a specific tag or specific segments and this is why i told you to set up your segments because this is where it's going to come in handy so just choose the people that you want to send it to this is the first thing the first part uh, and then afterwards you can just click on save uh, next up is going to be the from and this is obviously going to be you and this email is going to want to be the email that is going to show for them uh, the people that you will send it to so make sure that you uh, enter the email that you want to show again click on save and then add the subject this is going to be the subject of the uh, uh campaign so give it a title basically so uh, a title for a campaign i know i'm not uh following these guidelines and this is the best best practices guidelines when it comes to a uh, subject for the campaign it's, it's short and sweet and all of those things 
and then preview text is going to be a, like a little text that is going to highlight what this is going to be about again make it short and simple and uh, straight to the point so um, uh, I don't know call to action and you just click on save and then send time uh, if you want to add a send time like when uh, let's just stick to send now but if you want to have a scheduled time you can do so let me just uh, stick to send now and then finally is going to be the content for the content you just need to design email click on here and you will need to obviously design your uh, campaign so we can just select one uh, a template hmm. let me just f filter off the paid ones and let's just stick to the minimal one and click on apply and just like the previous uh, drag and drop it's the same thing here you will need to set logo obviously enter your own logo uh, this is going to be the first thing and then afterwards you just design whatever you want to design you can just you know uh, click on everything uh, delete whatever you want and just have um, drag and drop whatever you want to drag and drop so you can add buttons you can add an image here you can add a video instead of an image uh, which is uh, like quite better so if you just go to uh, 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 image video products product apps okay I, I'm, I'm kind of blind okay there it is so this is the video you can just drag and drop and you can uh, enter the url of the video or uh, just upload it from your uh, device and this is going to be um, attached right away and you can again add a button here and obviously edit to the text just like a normal text so you can just you know delete whatever you want to delete and so on so after you are done with this you can just uh, click on here uh, and send a test email which i recommend and you can you know get to the email and see if you like it or not and if you do you can just click on save and exit and uh we are pretty much uh done here so to send email remove or replace the place holder holder text okay so i needed to actually um change the text within it to, to in order to send it but I'm not, I'm not even going to do that because, you know, it's pretty much done. You, you don't really get uh, anything else. Once you are done with this, and this should be obviously complete with your own uh, text, you just click on send or finish later and save it as a draft. It's completely up to you. And so, so this is pretty much it. Uh, this is how to create a campaign on MailChimp. It's very s simple and easy. And again, uh, I want to stress that uh, this this option here the automations are going to help you a lot with a lot of stuff uh like like i said the birthday one and uh, all of those things are very very um useful like automations that are going to help you with your journey so uh this is a side of the point but this is how to actually create a campaign in uh, mailchimp i hope you liked this video and thanks for watching guys